It was my pleasure today to MC the uh, luncheon today, kicking off the 20th annual RBI World Series. We played the championship games here at Target Field, and David James, the director of the MLB RBI program, is with us here during the top of the fifth. Great time today, and just a great turnout. And boy, you could see the excitement in the kids' faces today at the lunch. Yeah, that was uh, quite an amazing experience. Uh, Commissioner Sealing is the keynote speaker. Uh, a, a wonderful opportunity for these young men uh, in their pursuit in their careers in baseball. Now, this is the 20th anniversary for the RBI World Series, but the RBI program was founded uh, by John Young back in 1989, right, in Southern California. That is correct. Mr. Young realized uh, at that time in South Central Los Angeles that uh, young African-American uh, males weren't uh, uh, drawn to the game anymore and uh, came up uh, with this idea uh, to uh, provide some opportunities. And we're all very fortunate to uh, continue to fulfill his mission and his dream. I had a chance during the uh, the luncheon today to kind of go from table to Dad. table and wish everybody good luck. As uh, you can see, the commissioner of baseball right there, Bud Selig, the uh, keynote speaker. Twins Hall of Famer Tony Oliva, three uh, baseball Hall of Famers, Mr. Blylev and Mr. Carew and Mr. Molitor there. One out here in the fifth. One strike to Alexei Ramirez. You know, going back here locally, I know that the Twins started something uh, not quite 20 years ago. Uh, Dave Winfield, Kirby Puckett started a, were instrumental in starting a rookie league program, which was folded into the RBI program here. And there were you know, a lot of donations uh, by uh, Kirby and Dave uh, donating gloves and equipment to inner city youth in the Twin Cities. And it has to be gratifying for you to see how this program has spread all across the country and the participation continues to uh, skyrocket. Yeah. Uh over 200,000 young men and women ages 5 to 18 this year playing the program and obviously here locally the legacy that uh, Kirby and Dave started that uh, almost 6,000 kids here in the Twin Cities area play uh, RBI every year. Twins Community Fund a big supporter and they've donated 75,000 to both the Minneapolis and the St. Paul City Parks Department each year $150,000 total that helps over 4,000 kids play baseball and softball. That's awesome. And you talk about a happy coincidence. The, the field is divided into a junior division and a senior division, and eight teams in each division. And one of the representatives in each division, the White Sox RBI chapter. And so here they are being able to see the White Sox play the Twins uh, in a major league game right before the tournament starts. And it was very nice on the parade of champions, I guess we could call it, for the teams before the game today. It was very nice to see the White Sox players, the coaches, Harold Baines in particular, came out and really talked to the kids and wished them good luck uh, during the tournament while they're here in Minnesota. Dozier to his left, a quick one, two, three inning, and our thanks to David James, the director of the MLB RBI program. Big event in the Twin Cities, finishing here at Target Field. <laughs> 